Hey everybody, welcome back to Eclipse Motorcycles out with another test ride of the Red Aura E5125 this time. So, without further ado, we're going to get out, we're going to give it a ride test. And the best thing about it is, obviously, it is the second one we've done. First one rode absolutely no issues whatsoever. Key is buried down in the little box here. Don't need to go fishing around for a key in my pocket. Press the ignition, locates the key. There we go. We are good to go. So 0.8 of a mile on the trip. I mean, what we're going to do, we're going to do a slightly different route this time. We're going to get out into traffic. And we're going to have a bit of a blip on what we call the urban roads on this one. So we're going to go and uh, do some back, some back streets, some lanes. So, time currently is correct, half past two. So, let's get the traffic cleared. Let's get out and let's get some mileage on this bike. So, out into the 30s, we're going to start with on this one. And that was a little crowd of people that just there that were looking at this bike earlier, right? Ooh. That's a really nice scooter. What is it? It's a, a Lexmoto Aura. Oh, how much is that? Oh, I bet that's nippy to get around to the shops. Yeah, it is actually. It's quite nippy. Plenty of storage uh, room under the seat. So you can get a couple of bags of shopping under there. I do believe somewhere or in production at the moment they are doing an aftermarket rack for one of these so you can put a top box on these eventually when they've sorted out the aftermarket rack as you can tell i'm going up down over the potholes so hence why my voice is a little bit shaky but what we're going to do instead of doing all the dual carriageway like we've just done on the last one we're going to change the route up for you people that tend to watch a lot of my videos what's it like going down the back roads over a load of uh, potholes, bad bumps, speed bumps, you name it. Bad roads in Milton Keynes, uh, 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 as they say. The suspension's really good on this. It's good, I'd say it's a mid to firm. But when you're trying to talk and you've got that many potholes, I'm sounding like Larry the Lamb. But you're not feeling every bump. You can feel the bumps are there, but the suspension is doing its job. And with this seat that I've got on it, very, very cushioned. But yes, you can bounce the bike around on these bottles. But it's unfaltered. It just sits there. It's not like I'm losing any uh, direction on it. Up over the humpback bridge, little boy in his uh, sporty, sporty, uh, sporty car, as we would say. And, uh, I can't think what they, back in the 80s, they used to do an advert. I think it was a Castella advert with the Carlos Fandango wheels. If you're, if you're that old and remember Carlos Fandango wheels, you too can own a super wide set of Carlos Fandango wheels. Why well, would put wide wheels on a, on a car and blip it up like that? I do not know. Right, just watching the corner because obviously he's parked there. It means that oncoming traffic will be on my side of the, uh, the road. So, out on this Aura, and we're having a nice little test ride. Now, we've got an official test ride of one of these already, so I am just going to waffle on like I normally do, and chat about bikes in general. Aura, great. <laughs> These two electric little scooters just chucked in, chucked there, so I wonder someone hasn't picked them up and thrown them in the canal. I can't see the point of these electric scooters for hire. Not only... Are you not going to be insured or anything? But you're also breaking the law if you're over four mile an hour. Because that is the maximum speed you are allowed to do. Otherwise it becomes a motorised vehicle. But if you are doing over that speed, you're not taxed, you're not insured, you haven't got a licence plate on it. What happens if you happen to hit a pedestrian like happened in Nottingham the other day when uh, the poor woman was killed? So. I've got a total hate for these electric scooters. Apart from the uh, obviously the legal ones, that are 50cc equivalent, that are taxed, insured, and registered on a number plate. And we all know who PC Plod is going to be pulling if uh, 
young lad on a scooter happened to be going down the road and an old boy in his uh, invalidity mobile and you're both doing 10 15 mile an hour which one's going to get tugged first of course you know 90 percent of the time it's going to be the young lad on the scooter so i say ban the lot of them or make them get insurance and have a little uh, registration plate to say yes this vehicle is insured we're going to do a left here Thank you very much. Down the bump. Ooh, there we go. We're off. So we're going to have a little bit of flit around town. Anyway, rant over about electrics. I don't mind the uh, electric 50s because they are good commuter bikes. Yes, I'm doing 32 in a 30. I'm allowed a 10% margin. So, electric bikes are good. If you happen to be around town, you want to save on fuel and you want to save on your insurance and road tax. Why I'm looking right, I don't know, because the road's sealed off, but always better to do your shoulder checks. Right, let's get out on some dual carriageways around town. We're going to go into town shortly, just see what it's like trying to get manoeuvre this thing around town through traffic. Now we did all this yesterday, we did the run down to H Cafe yesterday. We had a nice little run down to H Cafe, which was good. Nice little bit of fun. And uh, apart from obviously Simon GTR 1400 that did see that hidden dip at the Audi, I will say no more on that subject. Go and watch his video. It was a close call. Now any other rider would have been in the puppy as they say deep in the pup and obviously Simon's training kicked in maneuver the bike get back in it the brakes ABS he missed that car by inches it was tight it was close but yet again I didn't see it because obviously all I saw was the hidden dips on I was beeping away like a lunatic as soon as he pulled out I'm like oh that's going to be close there's going to be a car in that dip and lo and behold there was nine times out of ten there wouldn't have been a car there but being a professional rider, any other any other rider would have been, oh crap, we are in it here. But obviously we were we were cracking along at a good pace anyway, so I just sat at the back of the pack. But a good run was had by all. A little bit of clock blurring did occur in uh, on occasions. It was a spirited ride, as you say. So, today is the 20th, we have only got, I think, 13 days, or two weeks, so two weeks, Sunday, so Sunday just gone, 19th, two weeks to go, we are going to be there, Milton Keynes Stadium, with our Lex Moto stand, and yes, RB is taking his bike down for everybody to see, I'm going to have the bike down there, all polished up, People come down and meet Red Bomb, meet the Lex Moto Sand, and have a chat with me. Gonna be worth it. I'm gonna have a load of stickers there, we're gonna be doing a load of giveaways, chuck a load of products out, stickers and everything, posters. So if you want to come down and meet RB, I'm gonna be there, Milk King's Bike Show. Also on the stand is gonna be Simon GTR 1400. Andy GSA Tractor is probably gonna pop down as well. And um, we may get a visit from uh, Rhythmic Biker, Uncle Red, all the local Moda vloggers in Milton Keynes are all going to be there and all have a little bit of fun. Keep me on these cars and the traffic. <coughs> mm, excuse me. So that's the bike show, 3rd of July, it's going to be starting Sunday around about 10 o'clock. Right, so that's the first bit done, that's the back lanes. I need to crack up a little bit more mileage now. So I've got four miles on the clock. All going well so far bike is performing exactly how I expect it to perform. So we're doing very very well. That plane is a bit low. I 
think nowhere around here to land unless you run out of fuel and going with the price of fuel I bet that one cost a bit to fuel up now that's why your plane fares are going up that's nice little Vespa with drop handlebars that's different ah. So back around town we go. Oh, nice little monster truck down there. That looks like a. Uh, I would say it's either a Toyota or a Mitsubishi. Looks like an L200 animal to me. Can be wrong. Whatever it is, it looks good. Yeah, there we go. It's a Mitsubishi L200. Nice. So we're going to go back the other way this time. Ramp up some more mileage. Oh, and I've still got one more of these to go. Yeah. Hello, camera. Smile. Good old pink punters. And if you've ever wondered what pink punters is, I'm not going to say. You have to live in Milton Keynes. There, everybody knows what pink punters is. It's not a bad little nightclub actually, I've been in there a few times. But uh, good fun to be had by all on a Friday and Saturday night down at Pink Hunters. And uh, everybody goes there, doesn't matter uh, what race, creed, colour or sexual denomination you are. It's a damn good club. Um, I think they call it LGBTQ, G, whatever, all those bit of everything in there, as they say. And even mongrels like me get in there. But, yeah, great little club. Right, we're going outside lane. We're going all the way round. And we're going to go down the dual carriageway, the other side, down towards Stoke Hammond now. So you get, you get to see a bit of Milton Keynes when I'm out on the rides. Tell you what, all this grass and all these this scrub, <laughs> you could do with a bit of gardening there. A bit overgrown. Look, come and do a bit of weeding on the roundabouts. matey boy in the lorry is going to probably pull in and get fuel. Right, let's open it up. Here we go. This little uh, Yamaha there. Apart from the fact that he's only in a t-shirt. Yeah, as they say, doesn't matter whatever the weather, all the gear, all the time. not catch me out in shirt sleeves on anything that is over 125. At least he's got a decent pair of boots so he'll protect his ankles if he hits the uh, hits the dirt. I will let the car have a merge. Go on you jump in buddy. Headlamp flash. No I haven't got one on these. No. It's on the main beam switch. I'm reaching behind like I would with my uh, quacker. It's not. It's on the uh, the main beam switch here at the front. Ah, so there is a pass light. It's exactly where your dip beam is pushed down on the dip beam. Ah. Learn something new every day on an aura. Anything missing now? There's a bit of music off of my uh, my cardo, but I'm doing a doing a vlog, so. You know. I don't have any music playing for a minute. Anyway, 
let's ramp some mileage up as we did on the last video fast forward from here and we'll catch up with you in just a few on the way back to the garage